today we have two Power Wheels toys. Uh, as you can see, we have a quad here, uh, and then we have a Jeep. With these uh, Power Wheels, uh, they have their own proprietary battery connector. So if you open this up, we can see the battery in here. This is a 12 volt battery. And um, you can see the proprietary connector right here. So when we pull this out, um, you can see what the connector looks like for the 12 volt. And the connector is different on the 12 volt uh, as opposed to the 6 volt battery. The connectors are different. But keep in mind this is a 12 volt connector. So this battery uh, comes with a connector built into the battery. So you can see the connector right here. The connector is built into the battery. And uh, they do sell this connector here on eBay, which is what I did. Uh, which I'm going to show you guys how to do and then basically get a different battery and connect it here uh, to this. Uh, so this So this is a 12 volt gray battery that Fisher Price has and this is a prop proprietary connector and uh, we'll show you how to get a new battery that's not a Fisher Price um, and how to attach this connector on a 12 volt. Uh, the problem with these batteries is these batteries usually cost um, around 60 to 100 dollars. Is there a better way to use another battery um, that's a 12 volt battery instead of using the Fisher Price official battery uh, with the built-in connector and yes there is all right so here you can see the proprietary uh, power wheels battery here and you can see the connector uh, and it's basically a male connector and the way I did it is I got a different battery uh, that's not proprietary you can see it's a 12 volt battery here and the key to this is getting the same male connector and you can see I got this on eBay and it's very important that it comes with an inline uh, fuse so if for some reason it draws more power it blows the fuse and doesn't start a fire in the you know in the kids power wheel um, and the way I have it connected here I have it around the screws you really in theory you want to have a ring connector here uh, on either end but uh, this is the way I did it so now you can see if I take this uh, non proprietary battery and I bring it up to uh, the connector that's inside the power wheels it will connect and you can see I just connected and that's how you use a 12 volt battery that's non uh, power wheels brand so it's very important that if you do buy an off-the-shelf battery that you have a uh, 30 amp inline fuse uh, you can buy the fuse by itself or you can buy the fuse uh, with the adapter as pictured here but it's, this is very important the other thing that we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna look here at this uh, Jeep so the Jeep is a little bit different the Jeep has uh, two 6 volt batteries I used to have when I bought this, I bought this used and the batteries didn't come uh, with the Jeep. So what I did was I cut the connector off and um, for now, um, this is what I was talking to you about. This is the connector that I'm going to use, which is a 12 volt connector. So I took the two 6 uh, volt connectors out. So I went ahead and replaced it with a female uh, 12 volt connector. So this Jeep takes two 6 volts. I removed the two 6 volt connectors and I replaced it with a 12 volt connector. So now what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to use the 12 volt battery from that thing uh, on the Jeep as well. So instead of having two batteries, I have uh, two 6 volts on the Jeep. I have now one 12 volt battery on the Jeep and then one 12 volt battery on the uh, uh, quad there. And it's the same battery and it's going to plug in the same way and I can use the same charger. See what I'm getting here? I'm getting rid of these two batteries that you're supposed to be in here and I replaced it with one battery. I'm going to replace a 12 volt battery that will work on both the Jeep and the quad. All right, and this is uh, the original connector that was in here in the Jeep. So I basically cut it and right now all I have it is uh, uh, I just wire nutted it together and I'm going to put some tape around there. But this is the connector that you need to use a non-proprietary Power Wheels battery. So the female connector is on the vehicle uh, end. So that's the male connector on the battery and then the vehicle end has the female connector. Like I said, on the Jeep here, I basically took the two 6-volt uh, batteries with a 6-volt connector and I removed it to make it uh, like this. So one of the advantages of using a non-Power Wheels battery like I have here, uh, now that I have a uh, harness on here, is that you can use the uh, Power Wheels uh, charger. And here's the charger right here. And you can see that it simply just plugs in here on the harness, just like that. Whoa! <laughs> go, go, go. Fast. Yeah, that was fast. You have to put your hands on the wheel though. Now press the gas pedal and the wheel at the same time. Go! Okay, okay, okay! Oh! <laughs>